Yo, what's up, kings and queens? Welcome back to the channel. This is Kenny. Got another tutorial for y'all. So, quick shout out to all the subscribers. Thanks for showing all the love. I appreciate y'all. If you're new, subscribe right now. Let's hit the subscribe button. Check out my content. I got playlists, views, tutorials, all that good stuff. So, we're gonna get into a print and cut heat transfer paper. All right. So, so on the other video that I did, um, photo paper direct. This is 11 by 17, and we're actually gonna be doing a whole design on this. You can actually do the print and cut and apply multiple designs, but we're gonna be doing one to see how much we can maximize, right? We're gonna be using the Silhouette Cameo. This is the four plus, okay? If you have a 12, um, a 12 inch cameo, you can still apply this. So with the photo paper dial break, we're actually gonna do it the proper way after we heat press it down. We need to let this sit for at least 30 seconds. Okay, we're gonna see if there's gonna be a difference. All right, I don't read directions, so my bad. Anyways, we all know that the can uh, cameos come with the 14, was it 14 by 15? So we know this is not gonna fit. Okay, we're gonna maximize this whole paper though. We're gonna maximize this paper. So let me get to the step. It's a cricket mat. See right there? It's a cricket. This is the 12 by 24. But we're gonna get into the tutorial and real real quick, select your machine. We're using a 12 by 24 mat. We're doing a custom size 11 by 17 the heat transfer paper. Constraint media to cutting mat. Orientation right there. Now, the click and drag have been giving me problems lately. So you can go to your file, click open. And this is what we want. This is not a special design. I just threw it together earlier. So I'm just gonna let it think. And I'm just gonna move it up. Try to get over the mat. And you see this right here? This is the height and the width. I'm gonna lock it right there where my mouse is. Just gonna drop it down to 10 inches. Boom. You probably need to be a little bit smaller because of the registration marks. So this is your mat. If you don't see it, the whiteness on the mat is because of the transparency. Okay, you see that? So this is what you want right here. Now we go to all the way to the third tab, registration marks. So let's get those on. So real quick. Just gonna zoom in, hold the all key, you can scroll up. Now you see this little red line, basically this is the registration marks, okay? So what you wanna do is hit restore defaults on the registration marks. Click on your design and let's try to get it in the red lines. Now, let's say if the text was separate, right? Stay true. That's what I say at the end of my videos. Y'all stay blessed and stay true. So let's say to say this was a whole separate design. You can actually put your typography design right there. I'm just saying, if you wanted to, okay? So now we got that on there, right? We got that on there. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Now I'm gonna go back to the right hand side and it's gonna be 
about the fifth one down. It's going to call the open trace panel. So right here on the right hand side, underneath the paper document, pics, the painting thing, that, and this little funny square. So click on that. Select trace area. All right. What you want to do is just pick a corner and just cover your images, all your images. So once you do that, for the threshold, you can raise it up so that way it can knock out. We want the outside, you know what I mean? Of the design. So once you got the th threshold done, instead of hitting trace, I want to trace the outer edge. So I'm tracing the outer edge. And now you have a red line behind it. But let me scroll in. Traced. Okay, there we go. See that red line? It looked kind of odd at first. Okay. Now we go back to page setup. Make sure the registration mark is on. I'll just hit the restore just in case because we want those to register on a cutting mat. All right. Now you scroll down, you make sure everything is checking out all right. This is your registration marks. You hit restore defaults. All right, this is your grid settings. We don't have to do anything right there. We got everything constrained to mat. We want to show print border, which ain't showing none. Now we just go ahead and go to the printer, click print. Okay, you can take a look at it if you want to, but it's going to be your 11 by 17 document. Click print, find the printer, click parenthesis right there. Heat transfer paper. This is the one that we did on the borderless video. All right, everything is good. Check options. Make sure your color correction is up there. Looks good. Everything looks good. It's not mirrored. Click OK and click print so we know it's going to come out of here it should come out fast but we're going to be loading this on the on this mat right here so our goal is to line it up with this right here so you can either go two ways since that broke you know, you can use the opposite side because I trim both sides. And all I did, just real quick, if y'all want to know, all I did was take the silhouette, the silhouette studio mat and take off the sticky, right? And place it over the Cricut mat. I line it up with the one and one. It's going to match up perfect. And then I took my razor blade or the box cutter and just slice it. Now, since this is the big document, make sure you turn on the cameo and make sure you have enough gap room back there. All right. This is the premium blade that I purchased. The one I, I wanted the one with so I could use this attachment since it came with it and plus I didn't like the little light pink peach color it can't be going to be using it on setting two so this is kind of like a manual blade it's a premium blade it goes in slot one make sure you push it in all the way down until it clicks now right here you got locks right so if you click this right here the switch right here you can actually move these. So you see these little grooves right here? This is where this needs to be attached. So you don't want it right here because it's gonna slide. 
So you want to lock it right about there so it don't move. Then once you got it down, you press down. Oh, real quick, before I do that, we're going to go to send, right? Uh, I forgot to set up my preset. But we're going to find printable dark fabric. Okay. We're going to do the cut. And we're going to pick the manual blade. It's going to change into that just like I showed you. So you click the correct settings. And we're going to leave everything the way it is. See all that red right there? That's what we want. We want that thing to cut out. See the registration mark? That's what it's going to detect. No matter what match you have. So once you get it on the mat the best you can. You want to line up with them, them double arrows right here. These little gray arrows. I and if you're familiar with it, then you know, you should already know. Make sure if you got the plus, you adjust your, your wheel right here, your lock. You send it in. Now you come back to Silhouette Studio. Click send. See how far it went back? Now we're gonna peel this. We're gonna peel this real quick. What I like to do is grab a corner, just like vinyl. Again, heavy cotton, 100%. This is the G5000 or 500, whatever they want to call it. The G5. Five second press. Still get your lint brush. Doing four fingers from the collar. Now we're just leaving everything on, okay? Now, if you if you got the clamshell, you want to be fast, cause this will start curling up, cause the clamshell is right here. You want to do this as fast as you can, but I know you want to get it lined up right. That's why a swing away is good for sublimation. You know, but everybody got their own preferences. Okay. Remember to use your parliament paper that it came with. Use your parliament paper. All right. It's curling up. Hurry up and place this. We're going to press it. 375 for 12 seconds. Now, this is the step that I didn't do in the last video. We're gonna, we're gonna time this for 30 seconds. Then we peel it off. All right. 30 
30 seconds is done. So I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Like I said, it was a normal design, but I wanted that. I wanted that to pop. Second press. Since we did it for 12 seconds, we're gonna press it for half the second, six seconds. We're gonna use the same parliament paper. I see, I see no design on this. Still going to protect the garment. I'm going to put it over. Six seconds. Oh, you know what? Yeah, this is going to do a second press. We're going to let it cure for another 30 seconds. Give it a little bit more light. All right. Real quick. Transfer paper, um, photo paper direct. This is the dark one. I recommend get the dark one because you can apply it onto white 100% cotton t shirts. Stay true. All right. Print and cut 11 by 17. You can actually use the Cricut mat. Hope you like this video. Until then, y'all stay blessed and stay true. Catch you on the next video.